Good morning, everyone. I, I hope all of you went to bed early last night, not assuming that we were going to have a snow day today. Mr. Kern usually opens up the assemblies here at the middle school, and to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure why I am doing this this morning. For those of you that do not know me, I am Dr. Riker, your superintendent of schools, proud superintendent of schools here at Nazareth. And why I say to you, I'm not sure why I'm standing up here in front of you today, because this really has nothing or very little to do with me. This has everything to do with all of you. You are the reason why we are here today. Students here at the middle school and the staff here at the middle school and the administration of our middle school. In addition, I wish we could have had our students here from Bushkill Elementary School who are now fourth graders at the intermediate school, but we were not able to do that today. But we do have some of our exceptional staff members here from Bushkill Elementary School. And again, it's all about you and what you do. Our staff comes to work every day dedicated to teach our students to reach the highest level they can in education. And they face the ongoing challenges every day of new, new uh, instructional strategies, evaluation strategies, everything that we need to do. And it becomes a little complex at times. I often sit back and remember, for me, what it was like to be a teacher 25 years ago. And life is much different for our staff members. Um, and you know what? Let's give all of our staff, administrators, Bushkill teachers, we have some central office administrators and middle school teachers, let's give them all a hand, students. <laughs> At the same time, if I had my way, most of us sitting up on the stage would be out there and all of you students would be sitting up here, but I don't know if we have enough room to do that uh, and go from there. But staff, administrators, let's applaud our students one more time for, for this achievement. <laughs> you did a great job. At the same time, you, you set some very high benchmarks very high benchmarks for those who will follow you to do the same. Again, I cannot applaud you enough. You may not understand how special this day is, but to have the Lieutenant Governor from Pennsylvania visit our school, to take time away from his very extremely busy schedule, we are honored and proud to have him here. And with that, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce to you Lieutenant Governor Jim Cauley. Thank you, doctor, and good morning. All right, let's try that again. Good morning. Good morning. I want to uh, say thank you for doing what it is that you've done in order for me to be here. Uh, and I am not alone in uh, joining you today and being a part of this wonderful celebration of your academic achievement, uh, I'm joined by a couple of folks that I get to work with every day uh, in Harrisburg, uh, people who are from your home community uh, and come to work every day uh, in Harrisburg to represent your interests. Uh, in particular, I'm talking about uh, two very good friends State Representative Joe Emmerich, who is here with us today. And State Representative Marsha Hahn, who is with us today as well. These two folks have taken time out of their schedule as well to be with you. In order to say congratulations, and I bring congratulations as well from one other person, our governor, Tom Corbett, who understands the work that is being done here 
uh, and is very pleased to be able to name this school district, and in particular this school, as one of the highest achieving schools in the entire Commonwealth. I'm honored to be with you here in Northampton County, but I must tell you, I'm more honored to be in one of the best school districts in the entire state. The governor, the first lady, and I have been going all over the state to recognize school districts like yours that have, despite the many challenges that are in front of you, continue to achieve time after time after time. We are seeing great things happen in many school districts, and Northampton County is one of those great school districts. We continue to see young students, such as each and every one of you, achieve, and we continue to marvel at the fact that you, as the next generation, are prepared to change the world. There have been a number of students who have walked through these halls and went on to accomplish a great many things. With your school district's performance and with your personal performance, I have no doubt that maybe there's a future lieutenant governor walking these halls right now. Or more importantly, I know for a fact that today a teacher will make a difference in a student's life and will chart that student's life on a new course to even greater success. Our public school system in this state is strong. It's good. We have a great history of providing quality education through our public schools. Two schools in this district <clears throat> scored 90 or higher on the 2012-2013 school performance profile. Nazareth is exactly the kind of school district that deserves to be recognized. So often we hear about all the problems, all the challenges, all the concerns, we don't have enough money, we're not allocating it direct, in the right way. All of that fades away here at Nazareth. You're getting it done. You're getting it done right. You shine as an example to public schools across the state. You continually score at the top or near the top in every measure that education and the educational system can put forward. And that's why this award was created to recognize that excellence, to recognize that effort, to recognize those high achievements. And it's also created to recognize each and every one of you, the students. As your superintendent said, if he had his way and if I had mine, you'd be up here and we'd be down there because we're recognizing you today. Recognizing your high graduation rate, recognizing your superb academic achievement. And to acknowledge that regardless of back background, regardless of what challenges you personally may face, you continue to shine as an example of what education can and should be in this state and in this nation. The governor and I recognize as well that this is a team effort. It takes the willingness of all of you to learn. It takes your parents who consistently are on you to do your homework and get the project done. Yeah, I know, I know, bit of a pain, but someday, let me assure you, you're going to thank them. It takes your teachers who come into school early and stay late to make sure that you understand that math problem. 
or that you have the tools you need in order to get that project done or prepare for that next test. And it takes administrators who make sure that you have the tools that you need in order to succeed. We get that. The governor and I understand that. The Commonwealth understands that. We're all in it together. We, as a state, are committed to working hard for each and every one of you. But it's a two-way street. You have to continue to work hard to understand what it is that your teachers are trying to convey to you so that you are prepared to take over for all of us on this stage. Someday, you're going to be up here, and you have to be ready. You are getting those opportunities. Avail yourself of them. Take time to understand how great the educational opportunities are here at Nazareth. And continue to work hard every day, as you have already, to be one of the best schools and one of the best school districts in the entire state. We look forward to having you take our place at some point and having you lead us to an even brighter future for our Commonwealth. So I say to you again, congratulations, good luck, and I look forward to seeing you all again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor Cauley. At this time, uh, we are going to present the awards to our building principals. Lieutenant Governor is going to, to uh, present the first one to Mr. Bob Kern. Mr. Kern. Mr. Kern, would you like to say a few words? A few words. A few words, Mr. Kern. I have so many things that I would like to say, but I will keep it limited. Number one, I have told this student, this student body how special they are, how proud I am to be their principal, and humbled at their accomplishments. So what I'm saying now is not something that is new to them. They have been an awesome bunch of students to educate, to be around, to have fun with. I noticed that uh, today was an extra special pride in our school, especially I felt it, I know the staff has felt it, and I know you've worked very, very hard. You had a lot to do with the success of our school as well as our current ninth graders who were in eighth grade last year who were also a part of this venture. It doesn't come easy. This is why when you don't feel like doing that project or taking that exam or taking the extra time to get extra help, Right now, today, is where it all pays off. I am very proud of my staff for putting forth the effort that they do, being as creative as they do in developing strategies to help you learn and help you process information easier, quicker, and faster. You should be honored to have a staff like we do and to be part of this school, this school district, and especially this community. I know I am. I hope you feel the same way. So congratulations. In three weeks, we have to do it all over again. So I'm going to take this opportunity to pump you up. Yes, PSSAs are coming at the end of the month. So we need to get ready yet again and not only reach our benchmark, which is very high, 95.4 is a very great score, but now we need to exceed it. This is why when you hear me on TV, encouraging you to do the extra work, the extra effort, 
taking your time to do what is right for you individually and together as a whole school. So thank you very much. And on behalf of the student body and the staff, thank you so much for visiting us today. Our next recipient will be Dr. Greg Shoemaker, principal of Bushkill Elementary School. Dr. Shoemaker, a few words. Okay, since my staff isn't here, I'm going to just make this real brief. Uh, I'm just going to say ditto to what, uh, all the things that Bob had said. Uh, first of all, I'd really like to thank the Lieutenant Governor for the opportunity to come up here to be recognized. Uh, I happen to be the principal of a very, very fine school who has a, a great staff. And I need to give them all the accolades and all the credit for our achievement. Uh, actually, I have some of my staff here. We weren't able to have uh, our students here, our former third grade students who are fourth grade students at the intermediate school. But I know I'm just going to show you the type of, of uh, caring and, and the, the ideas that come up from my staff. While I was uh, down below talking, uh, one of my staff members said, wouldn't this be great if we could really go to the intermediate school and to present them with our award sometime this week. So just that quickly, I came up and asked Dr. Riker, uh, and Dr. Riker said, yes, let's, let's make it happen. So we are going to be going to the intermediate school sometime during this week, and then I'm going to uh, give them the same speech uh, that Mr. Kern gave, because it's, it's very important that they know that they are responsible for this award. Uh, I'd like to introduce some of the people that I have down here, since I only have a limit. I know with Mr. Kern, he has the whole school and all the teachers here. But uh, I want to start off with uh, the people who are the direct responsibility. Please understand, I know this is not just my third grade teachers who I'm going to introduce. It has to do with my kindergarten uh, teachers, my first grade, and my second grade teachers, who all do a very good job of getting the kids, uh, giving them uh, the things that they need to be successful. And then they pass them on to our third grade teachers, and then with some of the other support people that I'm going to introduce. Uh, please hold your applause just to the end, though, please. Uh, I want to introduce, uh, starting with my third grade teachers, the first person down here is Ms. Carol Clot, or Ms. Carol Kiefer, I'm sorry. Please stand up. Uh, Ms. Pat Nelson. Then I have Ms. Susan Klotz and Ms. Teresa Trabashi. They're our third grade teachers. Let's give them applause, please. Uh, I'm going to say, I. I've never met a, a, a group of people who are so determined to have their children be successful. I mean, they go over the data, they, they look at what they need to do, they communicate with each other, uh, and they come up with the plan for success. Then others that I want to introduce, we have a math specialist and a reading specialist who are very important. <clears throat> As you know, I know Mr. Kern has a very strong team, and they go over the data in the data room. Uh, Mr. Altman, please stand up, and Ms. Kelly Apruzzi. Uh, Mr. Altman is our math specialist, and Kelly Apruzzi is our RTI specialist. They go over the data, and uh, they talk to the teachers about what we can do. They share, then they brainstorm and come up uh, again with a successful plan. Thank you. Let's give them a hand, please. And also, I had said I'm accepting this on, on behalf of our Bushkill community. Uh, I have two members of our PTA. Uh, that are here, our president, Karen Janis, and our vice president, Cami Arfanella. They actually are very good models. They lead our staff and our, and our community to and openly ask parents to volunteer to help our children. We have many parents that come into our school uh, that work with our children, and they need to be recognized as being part of that success also. So thank you. Uh, just a couple other things and then I'll be finished and you guys can get back to class. Uh, I want to just thank uh, Dr. Riker. Uh, well, I, I can try to make it longer. Okay. Uh, our central office staff has been very supportive because we wouldn't be able to do this uh, without their support. 
Uh, I know having the money there to do things that we need to do with Ms. Grishkoff, uh, Ms. Isabel Rochante, uh, who's uh, now the assistant superintendent. Uh, she was in charge of math last year and she helped us get, attain our math scores. And this year we have real nice support from uh, Ms. Janet Wolf, who's also here. Let's give them applause, please. So you can see what I'm trying to say is this has been a real total community effort. You don't achieve something like this just by yourself. And again, I thank the Lieutenant Governor and I thank you for being so hospitable. And Mr. Kern, thank you. Thank you. You know, what's amazing for our students is in four years and a few months, I will be able to address you one last time as Nazareth Area School District Blue Eagles. I want you to take what you've accomplished here today and continue that through your next four years here in the school district and make us shine and excel in everything that you do here. I have had the privilege of working in several different school districts in my career. And I will tell you, we have six amazing buildings in our district. And, I, and there is something very special about our middle school. I enjoy coming here all the time. And the same thing with our Bushkill Elementary School. Two very special schools in the district. Two very special faculties that work extremely hard for our students. And I'm very proud of them and I'm very proud of you. So until I see you again in this capacity, which probably will not be until graduation, continue to excel, continue to shine as Nazareth Area School District Blue Eagles. I am honored and privileged to be your superintendent and standing in front of you here today. Lieutenant Governor, thank you very much for taking the time out. I know they realize how special it is to have you here today. And for, for all of our other distinguished guests, thank you for taking time out of your schedules to be here today. And with that, once again, congratulations. And it's time to get back to learning. Have a good day.